Good morning, everybody. I'm just in the shop part of our barn here. We got a little room in here. This is the old calf barn. We got some tools in here. And um, this morning, my dad and I are gonna be hanging up some of those salt block holders in the cow barn. We had someone fabricate up some stainless steel holders. And this morning, we're gonna be putting them right next to the water bowls. So this is the salt block holder itself. It's just going to be bolted onto the wall like that. It's got four holes for bolts and uh, it's fully stainless steel. So it's all stainless steel welded and everything and it's not going to rust out at all. We wanted to have the bottom open so it wouldn't build up with crap and it had to be big enough so that you know if a cow is going to spit any feed out in there while she's chewing her cut or something like that, hopefully they're not going to get super dirty. So to make it as easy as possible to install all of these holders, because we've got 18 of them that we're going to be putting up in the barn this morning, uh, Dad just went ahead and made a nice little template here. We're going to just set this on the floor in the barn there, and then we can drill through those holes with our cordless hammer drill, and then we'll be able to put some anchor bolts in there, and then get this thing fastened right to the wall. So that thing is going to speed things along really good for us. It's at the right height, and it's level, so should make installing those nice and easy. And another thing dad went and did, he bought a cordless hammer drill. Um, so that's pretty sweet. This thing looks pretty awesome to use. It's got some suspension here so it, when it's hammering away it won't uh, wear your hand out I think. Pretty nice. And then these are the anchor bolts, they need to be stainless steel because otherwise they'll rust right out. But basically you drill a hole into the concrete wall with this hammer drill then you hammer these in and then they fasten up and you can't pull them out anymore and then you can put a bolt on there and tighten stuff to concrete walls so that's how we're going to do this trimmer is still here also this morning so we locked up the east side and we're just gonna help them sort through the cows that they haven't trimmed yet this is the third day they're trimming on that side and they've marked every cow that they have trimmed blue so that's how we're gonna sort them out back wall. Yeah, that's deep enough. That's a finished product. We're gonna put one on each side of the water bowl.
Awesome, so that's the second one. Both sides, now there is the holders. These are just um, basic anchor bolts, I guess. Basically, you gotta drill a hole into the concrete, and then if this end stamps down kind of against the back end of that drill hole, it's gonna expand, and then when you pull it out, kind of when you tighten those bolts, it kind of pulls it on out. That's how it really fastens itself in that concrete. And um, that's how these water bowls are hooked up to the concrete walls as well. And it works really good. They do kind of work themselves loose eventually, so we're gonna have to come back here like two weeks from now, and then maybe half a year from now, and just re-tighten all those bolts. So we're just trying to sort through the cows that have been trimmed and not trimmed yet. There's about 10 left in this entire herd. It's kind of a pain in the ass to try and sort them all out, but gotta get her done. So we locked the cows too. So dad's just gonna walk in front and let all the cows go that haven't been trimmed yet. And we'll chase them all to the chute at the front there. So this is the last group of 20 cows or so that need to be hoof trimmed on the east side of the barn. And then they're gonna move over to the west side and do that side. said if we're gonna move any small squares today we should bed up the uh, calf barn so we're gonna start with that it's probably gonna take all the time we might not even touch that hay up there but at least we got something done <laughs> calf decided to jump over the water bowl right here. Bad calf. Buggers.
short-term shoot got moved from the east side of the barn to the west side of the barn now. And this morning we fed the cows, but we dumped some feed in the front there. So Dima's in this bobcat there. He's just scooping it up. He's going to move it over because cows aren't going to be able to eat through those self-lockers for the next two days at least. So that feed's going to be bad by then. So if we don't want to waste it, we got to move it over. Silly goose, she's kind of doing it wrong, but at least she's getting her salt. So this is the middle crossover in the barn. We put two salt block holders here this morning, and uh, you can see how crowded it is. All the ladies trying to get at them. So there's obviously a few benefits to getting the salt blocks in the group like this. Um, they can't push it away anymore, like. When we toss them in the feed alley there, they could lick them and lick them and they'd constantly go further and further away from the cows until eventually they just can't even lick them anymore. So salt blocks are gonna be a lot more accessible to all the cows like this. Got one right beside the water bowl here. I put these salt blocks in here maybe not even 12 hours ago and you can already see how much they've licked out of them. It's pretty crazy how quick they go. But a lot of people were saying, don't put them beside the water bowls because they're probably gonna rust out a lot quicker. And that's true, they're galvanized steel water bowls, but um, the holder, all the bolts and all the nuts holding these uh, salt blocks up, that's all stainless steel, so that'll last forever pretty much, unless a cow or the bobcat knocks it off. Kind of worried about that one getting knocked off by the bobcat, but we'll see how long it lasts. If the water bowls do get rusted out, I believe they have stainless steel water bowls apparently, so the exact same shape, but just in stainless steel. Those would be a lot nicer, a lot easier to keep clean as well. So if they ever did rust out, probably would take quite a few years still. But you can always just put new ones in, so not the biggest deal in the world. Well, while we were milking this afternoon, my dad went ahead and installed the rest of those salt block holders. So there's no more of that to do. And uh, that was going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at SaskDutchKid. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.